All right, guys, welcome back. So today on one of my rentals, I have a deck, as you can see in the background. And uh, it's actually a really nice deck and the uh, yard is really nice. It's got a lot of trees. Um, we're very early spring, but uh, the situation going on here is we have multiple animals going under the uh, deck and I'll show you some of my uh, ring night footage camera. It looks like a zoo with uh, raccoons, possums, skunks, groundhogs. So uh, what we're gonna do is um, this portion here, we're going to uh, screen that off with some chicken wire and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So it's quite an expansive deck, but that, that's really not a big issue. Um, the project should go pretty quick. But what we're gonna do is, um, let me get under here. You can see we have this vast space underneath um, and we have a lot of this debris. I already uh, raked some of the leaves out. So what I wanna do is um, in general, I'm gonna be cleaning out under the deck and then I'm going to uh, regrade this dirt. Cause I wanna make sure that the dirt is um, uh, sloped properly so we get the proper drainage. As it is, the deck has a, a slight negative grade to it, which it's not the greatest thing, but there's not much you can do on a deck this size. So you want to at least get the grading right. And then um, once we do that, um, you can see my roll of chicken wire. I'm going to be putting that under, um, not under the deck, but from basically from here down. I'm going to dig a trend. You can see I already did a section here. And uh, what's funny is you can see the chew marks where where I think it was a groundhog came in here and he's like, what, what's going on? See this little uh, rascal, this groundhog was already, I filled this hole in before and he came back and he's digging some more. So it's just, I'm gonna have to block this off. I can't have animals um, coming back and forth. Okay guys, so we have our trench dug out. It's about a foot down and goes all the way across. So when we lay the chicken wire, we're going to uh, start right below um, the edge here, the fascia board. So you won't see, hopefully you won't see the staples. Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna fold it underneath like this. And what that does is when the animals try to dig, uh, they're gonna hit that chicken wire that's coming out, that's protruding out, and they're gonna stop digging. What I like to do is put my foot here and, and push this uh, chicken wire out so it cuts easier, so it separates easier, and I just, you know, put it in there and snip it. And this is where it takes a little while because you're gonna have to go one by one. Okay, so you can see I got about half of it done. I'm getting really close to this tree. It actually grew into the deck a little bit. So I just took a, a handsaw and kind of notched out very gently a little a portion of it. And then you can see my staples. Um, I tried to get as close to the, uh, to the top as I could, but uh, in some cases it was just too hard to get the gun in there. Okay, as you can see, I got the chicken wire all mounted to the top of the deck and it's hanging uh, over. Let me come in a bit here. All the way across. It's going down about um, 8 to 10 inches. And then I'm going to cover this up with, with dirt. And then I'm going to uh, plant that area. I was thinking about putting rocks in there, but I think I'm just going to put some uh, nice hostas in there. That way when they grow, we'll cover up the chicken wire. If I ever have a problem with something digging in there, I could uh, throw some rocks in there, some pebbles as well. Okay, we're pretty much done with the final product. You can see it's not too bad. It's It looks really good. Um, it's gonna be unnoticeable when I put these uh, hostas I got over here in front of them. Um, we're about 12 inches deep into the ground, curled under. So that should be pretty legit. 